This gives oxygen. The Vivos appliance for those of us who have had constrictions in our head provide the ability to breathe. To me, that is an invigorating aspect of life, breath. We don't have enough breath, we can't fully live. Uh, my name is Margaret Blake and I live in Astoria, Oregon at the almost at the end of the massive Columbia River. I love photography because I can play with color and light. I love gardening because I can add all kinds of beauty to our neighborhood. Two to three years ago, I saw an advertisement from Dr. Klemp who um, was talking about the Vivos appliance. There was just something that made sense to me. I don't know, it wasn't just better sleeping, but it might have had something to do with allergies and airwaves and it wasn't orthodontia. It was just so holistic in its approach. That's what caught me, I think. This is something that's new, exciting, um, and I'd like to be a part of it. And so I happened to mention it to my primary physician and trust him a great deal. He said, my goodness, yes. So I did and learned more about the appliance, read the material, read on site, did my research, and felt, yes, this was worth trying. I, there's a lot of change that's taken place. One, I can sleep on my back. Uh, I sleep more deeply. I'm dreaming more. I have more energy. I just celebrated this week my 69th birthday, and that's a real gift. I have um, never been able to sleep on my back, so I'd always be a side sleeper. Uh, my throat seemed to close up. I mean, now I know that. I mean, I, it, I just was something I couldn't do because I wasn't breathing. But now I can begin the whole process of sleep and there's a greater relaxation to the body. I'm, I'm, the breathing process is not constricted. It was definitely constricted in the throat region. I was, I was always quite thin. After menop or at the menopause process, I gained some pounds and Last year, all of a sudden it slithered off and I'd been very active and exercise, an exercise program for seven years and it didn't come off, it just wavered. And all of a sudden I was below that particular point. That's only about seven pounds, but it just went away. I mentioned it to Dr. Klemp and he said, this is what happens. <laughs> so hey, <laughs> that's a side benefit. I mean, I wasn't unhappy with where, but I, you know, I, I will have to go down another size in pants. How's that? <laughs> without effort. <laughs> this is certainly making the airwaves more wonderful, opening up the sinuses. They're drying out in some ways, which, and I've lost some weight. All those things are a part of this process. So I'm encouraged my teeth are straighter in the front, particularly. So it's a very comfortable process, but I can see dramatic differences. Now I can really open my mouth too without getting about here. It can open all the way up. Before it would almost always click. Now it can go a much greater range without the clicking. It's never gotten stuck, but it, it, it has had a limitation without popping. Um, so it, it certainly, the other day I opened it very, very wide and I thought, wow, and it didn't pop. I can tell the alignment. This part of my face is narrower now. Um, I can, I can tell that there's definitely something changing in the sinus region. This, um, I also had um, very young um, tonsils and adenoids removed. There's always been somewhat of a pocket here that catches things, but I'm feeling like it's this, the airwaves obviously are getting more open because I can sleep on my back. For an elder like myself, which is great because always sleeping on my sides and having problems over time with shoulders, this gives me an option, which I almost always start sleeping on my back. So that in and of itself is a real gift. And it provides a lot more relaxation to the body, which I hadn't been able to experience before. It's about wholeness, I think. There is a pattern. What is DNA? It's a pattern of wholeness. It's, it's our head. We need more room in this part of our body. It's the control center, kind of, you know? Maybe we'll be smarter up here, who knows? I would just encourage anyone who can relate to these kind of symptoms to check it out. And I hope in your community that you have a dentist who is 
open-minded enough to take on this wonderful process. Okay? <laughs>